Hi everybody, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Lean Media, available from leanmedia.org. I talk about Amazon programs all the time, and today I'm gonna to be talking about duplicating an Amazon promotion in Amazon Seller Central. And I'll explain what that is and why you'd wanna do that very quickly. So Amazon Seller Central, um, let's go to my Im inventory page. You're probably used to seeing this page, but if you've used promotions before, you have to go to uh, advertising. Whoops, where'd it go? Oh yeah, promotions. So here are the, uh, here's your promotion screen. And what we wanna do is we don't wanna create a new one uh, because actually it takes a long time to do that, but rather we wanna duplicate an existing one because that lets us keep the values or maybe modify them slightly. So instead of creating one from scratch, which takes maybe five or 10 minutes or even longer, depending on what you're doing, you can just take an existing one and uh, clone that one, duplicate it, and then you can make some modifications. So what you have to do is you come to this screen Click on Manage Your Promotions. Okay, this shows my active promotions. I actually don't have many going on right now, but what I can do is I can change the view to Pending. So I have these two promotions coming up. And then if I wanted to, I could duplicate a promotion. So I have this upcoming one, buy four pink packets, get one free March, 2019. Let's just say that I wanted to create an almost identical promotion, but instead of for this product, the pink packets, I wanna make it another one. So I, let's say the purple one. So basically you go, to, you go to the right side of the screen and you click clone. And by the way, you can also do this for, for, um, for uh, promotions that are done. So expired promotions, there, those, there should be. A, so you can see, I have this giant list of promotions that I've been using. So if, if I said, oh yeah, there was this promotion, it did really well, I want to, I want to see um, I want to see how, I, I want to duplicate that one again. I could find it in here and I could hit clone and I could just duplicate that one, okay? So actually, yeah, let's do that one. So blue discount, buy, buy two, get a 15% discount. That ran last year. I'm gonna duplicate that one. I'm gonna clone it and everything is already pre-filled. It actually sets it up so the date's starting today and only for a couple hours. I don't know why you'd want to do that. Um, but I like that promotion. By at least two, you get 15% off purchased items. Um, I'm going to just change the dates. You know, I've, I've had this weird bug in my promotions calendar. It shows Chinese, and, and I can read Chinese, which is okay, but the problem is it, it creates an error later on. But anyways, let's, I want to I wanna set this up so it's in April. This actually says April in Chinese. April the 1st, and I'm going to end it. And April the 30th. Okay. Internal disc discount. Buy, uh, buy two, get 15% discount. I'm just going to change the tracking ID a little bit. Blue discount. Buy two, get 15% discount. And I'm going to say April 2019 for my own reference. Uh, customized messaging. This is actually pretty, pretty key. You should definitely uh, customize it. One thing that I like to do, the default text is promotion applied. I like to say discount applied. Um, always customize, well, you can use standard text, say 50% each on qualifying items offered by, um, offered by i30 media. So I'm going to say, instead of saying qualifying items, I'm going to say on easy genie, basic genealogy kits. All right. So that you can see that automatically fills in there. I could also use customized text. I could just check that off and say, say 15% when you buy two or more uh, qualifying items. Okay, so I'm just gonna use a standard text. Display precedence, this shows how high or low you want it to be in relation to other promotions or other things that you're using on that page. So 50 is right in the middle. Usually when I create something new like this, I want, to, I want it to rank pretty high. So I'm gonna set it to five out of 100. Fortunately, Amazon provides terms, default terms and conditions. Um, it's you know it's pretty general. So if you want to if you want to uh, change it up, you could you could you could change this text. Um, of course, I'd be careful with that. Be, maybe contact your lawyer if you're going to be messing around with the terms and conditions. And then you hit click review. Yeah, it gave me a problem with the date. It's still showing it. All right, I know what the problem is. I'm just going to rearrange everything because it's opposite day. Okay. All right, and hit review. Okay, it's all there. 
hit submit. So I've just duplicated an existing promotion, uh, actually a promotion that expired last year, but it did really well. I just created a new version of it. So instead of starting from scratch, I just basically copied all the values pretty much automatically, made a few tweaks here and there. And uh, that's how you do it. For more information on how to get the most out of your Amazon programs or how or creating media, I'm using other types of platforms such as YouTube. I've written a book about creating media and also on my blog. This is on leanmedia.org, by the way. Go to the blog. I have many different uh, blog posts about how to get the most out of Amazon and other types of programs, strategies for selling, strategies for publishing, etc. And then go to leanmedia.org slash video and you can see all these videos that I've created about lean media as well as my YouTube channel. Click on that and there's dozens of videos about Amazon programs and other types of programs. Thank you so much for watching.